Today on Mild House Fix, we'll be showing you how to assemble your all-season wood storm windows, so stick around. Okay, let's head over to the shop and show you what we need to get set up. Okay, so before we get started on the assembly, we first have to gather all the tools and equipment. As you can see here, starting from the top corner, we have the screen panel, your glass storm panel that will go in the frame. We need a drill, a 16th inch drill bit to drill the pilot holes, some shims once we start installing. Then we're going to need the hinges, I like to use stainless steel, those work best. The black retainers there in the center that will hold your screen or storm panel in place with the four screws and hardware. And all to mark your place where you're going to drill for the retainers and a Phillips head screwdriver. So let's go over to the frame and get started. Okay, for the first step we're going to take our tape measure and our awl. We're going to measure to the center of each side and make a mark. Like that. One on the left. One on the right. And one on the top. Okay, next we're going to take our drill with our 16th inch drill bit. We're going to drill a pilot hole in each location. Okay. Now we're going to take our retainer, as you can see here, and we're just going to put a Phillips head screw in each of the locations for the retainer of your panels. All right, and just snug them down where you can turn them slightly. Not too tight, not too loose. And we're ready to insert the screen or storm panel. So it just slips into the chamfer on the back of your frame, like so. And then you just twist the retainers to hold it. And there you go. Retainers in nice and tight. And now we have the frame finished where you can install your screen or glass storm panel. Quick installation. Pretty easy, straightforward. And now we're ready to go install. So stay tuned and we'll go take this panel, we'll go install it onto the house with the hinge set that we have and show you how we do that. Now that the assembly is finished, don't forget to stick around for part two on the next video, how to install. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe up above. Thanks.